June 17th of 2000, you guys actually released the iconic song titled Hit or Miss that actually has not one but two separate music videos. The one with you guys in the hotel room, which is the most known one. And then the other one is actually the drive through Records edition that features Corey Feldman. I was wondering if you could actually tell us a story not only behind the song, but also what actually made you guys decide to do two separate, uh, two separate music videos. Was it your decision or was it the label's? Well, the first time we like the song was released hit or miss like we were just on drive through records like it was right when the record came out um it was like you know you know it was kind of like before everything started coming like people started caring about newfound glory and then once like that record came out um people started like you know the label like uh, mca records had a deal with drive through records like a distribution deal that if like the band sold a certain amount or was doing uh you know sold amount of records that they would get bumped up to the next you know level which was mca records so once the record once the um album got bumped up is when they asked us to do another video and to like you know solicit to, to radio and stuff like that so it was kind of like two different releases where one it was like on drive through records and then once it got picked up they made us do that didn't make us do we kind of like wanted to do something a little bit more professional because the other one was more of like a shotgun music video super cheap done but um, and the next one was kind of like, you know, someone we did more expensive with the label and stuff like that with like actors and our first like big budget video, you know? So, yeah. And it was kind of crazy because we did actually a couple different versions of that song. I remember we recorded it. Obviously, the first time was on uh, Nothing Gold Can Stay. Um, and then um, we did like another version um that was like with neil avron and then there was another version that was done with jerry finn so that was kind of cool we got different versions of the song but we ended up using the neil avron version as like the main you know because I, I i also think if i remember correctly that original hit or miss i was with corey film was a different recording so then it was re-recorded on the next record as like a single but you know if i remember correctly you are you are, you actually are right because I remember actually if you go back and watch the drive through records this music video the song is slightly different it sounds more like a demo version of Hit and Miss yeah. it sounds kind of like go. it sounds polished but not as polished as the MCA version there you go so yeah now as everything starting to like go in my mind yeah that's exactly how it went <laughs> and also when you mentioned Jerry Finn as well I gotta say like definitely rest in peace to him man literally one of the best producers to ever oh. do it just for pop punk man oh yeah one of my favorite producers of all time.